Hey. Yo, what's up? Hey. What are you doing, dude? Uh, just making a little documentary. Yeah, that's what you got the camera. What, what kind of documentary? Uh, it's about electronic music. About electro? You electro? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, with the turntables and all that stuff, dude. Yeah. I was hot on that for a minute, dude. I was like, wooka, wooka, doing all that, bro. Yeah, bro, you know what you need to do? There used to be this dude around here. He was, like, in all the clubs, playing all the raves and everything. I checked him out a couple times, dude. I was going to do a little collabo with him, bro, because I got, I had a drum machine for a minute, dude. You know what I'm talking about? But his name's Exact, bro. He's running around here somewhere. I haven't seen him for a while. He might be working at the grocery store or something, but you can dig him up someplace, bro. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think my uncle's cousin's brother's sister-in-law's niece knows him, dude. Yeah, bro, let me give them a call and maybe I can get him get him over here and you can interview that dude about this little music documentary that you're doing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me make the call, dude. Our next DJ is Electro Fiends Unlocked. He's got him unlocked, believe me. And give it up for my man DJ Exacta. Let's go. Break it down, baby. I got my name exact before I was producing electronic music or whatever. It was kind of like rap beats. My friends used to have a house and they had an extra room. They had some music equipment and I had some music equipment, just little samplers and stuff like that. We decided to put our equipment together and record little parts of certain beats on a record or on a tape. I would be so meticulous with the editing of where the beat would be and I would do it over and over and over. And one time he said to me, why do you have to be so exact? He was a graffiti artist. He made me a hat that had E-X-Z-A-K-T. So I went to a club, which ended up being a rave kind of by accident. And I was going to the alternative night. At the end of the night, at like one or two o'clock when we'd be leaving, we'd always see these crazy people with these big pants and glow sticks. Well, one night we stayed late. Me and one of my friends were really drunk and we stayed there late and we actually were in the club. They didn't kick us out for some reason. They used to always kick out the first crowd and somehow we stayed in there. And then all of a sudden I was in the middle of a rave. I wasn't planning on hearing music that actually reminded me of the music that I first fell in love with, which was the Electro from 1982, 1983, which is Egyptian Lover and Planet Rock. And I heard that they were making that. From that point, I started buying records uh, because I heard some of the music I liked, but it was really hard. Only one out of every 50 records I would like. And then it got to the point where uh, some people that I was around were making music. Then I just started to try to make the music, got an MPC, and then it was just like a slow buildup to being able to actually produce a, a full song. The music that I make is a reflection of technology today and what I see in the future. And then a few years later, I was buying records with my high school friend, Excel, Jason Reed. I started recording mixes over his house. One day he was like, well, you have to have a DJ name. You know, I was close to uh, DJ x Lax was one of the options. Uh, DJ Excrement. Well, I'll just use Exact because that was my name before, just to just to put a name on it. And that's how I started producing. It was almost on accident, uh, just kind of fooling around. And then within the first year of producing, I actually came out with my first record. Music is the drug. The way that Evolve came about was I had a few songs that were unreleased and there was a guy that used to go to the record store, had a label that they were starting that was mostly rap music. And he actually came to me with the idea to compile an album. And then since I was a DJ, I had the idea to kind of seamlessly mix the album and have it almost like a DJ mix. It wasn't really that I was setting out to be so original to be honest with you, that just kind of happened on accident because of the exploration of the gear. When I created Evolve, it was done with a keyboard and a drum machine and not too many samples. And then also the vocals were all written by me. So that's it. There'll never be another drum machine like it.
I think the uniqueness of the album was the fact that I was really exploring the keyboards and the uh, drum machines that I had and just making it my own, you know, and, and finding myself as an artist. I just started to have so much material myself and I had contacts with all the stores and everything. So I figured that I would start my own label, then I'd be able to put out more of my music and also be able to put out more of the sound that I was kind of wanting to gear myself towards. And then the, the name monotone um, was meant like one, like on my own. And also the tone part of it, a tone of music, but then also like a tone of colors. The artwork for the beginning was very colorful. I never really released a lot of MP3s as exact because the vinyl was the, the distribution and everything and I had my whole network set up through vinyl. So when uh, vinyl stopped selling, um, I kind of lost an identity as far as I didn't switch over to MP3s and I didn't press vinyl anymore. Left exact um, where I didn't really have an outlet to my fans anymore. It just got to the point where I guess what exact was uh, like a persona. It was like a, a, a frame of mind. It was a certain kind of vibe. When that kind of wasn't there anymore, I just didn't want to take away from, from the name and from the persona and from the energy of what was there. I decided to not do exact anymore. Yeah, all right, listen, I got to get going, dude. I'm making a movie. All right, laters. Yo, so my uncle's brother's cousin-in-law's nephew's sister's uncle totally just talked to Exact, dude. And guess what? He's down to come back, but he's tired of all these douchebag microchip internet DJs. Douchebag, douchebag, all these douchebag microchip internet DJs. So what we got to do, bro, is we got to start spinning vinyl again. We got to start buying records again. And we need to bring back that real shit, dude. So I'll tell you what, just say Exact's name three times and he'll be back. It's been seven years since my last album. I've decided to make my new album Evolved be all on hardware and starting from scratch and all new sounds, all new drums, all new vocals, all new ideas for tracks. Nothing is coming from anything from the past, but it is going to be based on my original album Evolve, which the contents of that was like kind of self-exploration. And now this is a looking back into where I'm at now, as opposed to from 2001. So hopefully I'm involved.